Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In today's video, I'll tell you how to do the other benchmark test comparison between the IQ7 versus Mi 11X smartphone. So both phones, they do have the Snapdragon 870 chipset, but let's see how much difference can it be there between the IQ7 and the Mi 11X device. That is what I'm going to exactly compare between this both of the smartphones. So it's going to be really very interesting, friends, comparing the other benchmark scores. And in case if you have any other queries, let me know in the comment section below what are other doubts you are having between these both phones. So definitely I'll tell you to do the lot of speed test and plenty of other benchmarks comparison. But let's see in the other benchmark test how much difference can it be there between both of these devices. So during this process, I'm trying to use with aeroplane mode itself, as you can see exactly. And with 50% brightness and all the background apps are completely clean right now, as you can see exactly friends so let's check the temperatures in the beginning how much it is 30 degrees and 30.4 degrees not bad so it's of 30.4 degrees only everywhere as you can see friends, exactly nothing much got heat at this moment so both phones are having same temperature my room temperature is 29.2 degrees not bad so right now the other benchmark test has been officially started between both phones let's see which snapdragon 870 will get a lot of heat so which will generate how much kind of heat that is what i'm going to exactly compare between these both phones because that is also another thing which is really interesting and a lot of users are actually looking for it one that one as well so very soon i'll try to do the speed test comparisons as well so make sure to stay tuned for those videos in case if you are looking to buy one of the phone this will be really interesting for you so again i'll be back after some time so finally friends, we got the Android benchmark score comparison between both phones as you can see clearly IQ7 and the Mi 11X device and you can see the temperatures how much it got increased. So in the Mi 11X device just a little bit got increased the temperatures you can clearly see just a little bit not a huge as you can see 36.2 degrees is the highest and it was close to I think 1.5 degrees more than the IQ7 device at this moment you can clearly see friends difference in temperature and battery decreased same percentage. So nothing much major difference in terms of the battery percentage you can clearly see the difference how it is. And the CPU and the GPU score and the overall score obviously in the IQ7 device every time from the day one to till now the score doesn't change in this IQ7 device always above 7 lakhs yes if you keep all the storage free in this phone most of the storage and then definitely you will get 7 lakhs ultimately in this IQ7 device possible doesn't matter what the condition is doesn't matter how much the battery how much it is but still the phone can actually score 7 lakhs but the thing is that which phone has got really good GPU performance GPU so 245, 2,45,000 GPU and 2,37,000 GPU. You can see the difference how it is between both phones in terms of the GPU and the CPU as well. CPU slightly more points in the IQ sound device at this moment as you can see friends clearly. So that's it friends. Thank you for watching this video. You got a clear idea what is going on between both phones. And both phones are using the Arduino 650 GPU only but still the results are quite different between both devices so thank you for watching this video friends this is a quick comparison between both phones and in case if you want me to do any other comparisons let me know in the comment section below definitely i'll be doing those kind of videos as soon as possible in my channel so thank you for watching see you in the next video friends until then stay tuned meanwhile signing off bye